Get mention of my name, we don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck, y'all can suck my dick I'm making pesetas while they're talking, talking shit Nah, I don't give a fuck, don't waste my time for this Alrighty guys, what's up, welcome back to another Pokemon Go video And today we're gonna be talking about Shiny Poliwag in Pokemon Go So today, we are gonna be talking about Shiny Poliwag getting released for this upcoming Shiny event well, it goes pronounced Go Fest event. So the next Go Fest event, we are getting Shiny Poliwag available in the wild and globally uh, around the world. So hopefully, they haven't announced it being global yet, but hopefully we're gonna get it. And there was another tweet that they tweeted out today about Pikachu, but I will get to that after this the whole thing. So we're going down here, and we're gonna show you guys what they said. And if you guys are wondering what, what y'all see something new, I am back in Tulsa, so you guys know. Okay, guys, we are back. So, we got it going. Uh, so, anyway, as I was saying is here, GoFest event for Yokohama is starting this month, tomorrow, because today is the fifth. Tomorrow starts off for GoFest event, so I cannot wait. So, as you can see here, it says, Shiny Plywood available in Pokemon Go, on August 6th. I cannot wait. This was posted yesterday. So, as you guys can see, you can tell the shiny a little bit now. They changed the, fit, the little color of it. Okay, so, as a part of the Go Fest event celebrations, Lucky Turns will be able to encounter shiny Polarwag worldwide, which means globally. So, they, not, they didn't announce, bleh, they did announce globally shiny Polarwag, which is pretty good. I'm glad with that. I'm happy with that. It's good. I'll explain something else later. Starting on August 6th at 10 a.m. JST, the following new shiny Pokemon will also be available: Shiny Poliwhirl, Poliwrath, and Politoed. Which we had the Cinnamon Stone shiny Ralts all the way to Gallade, and then we had the regular form Garnivore. I'll show you guys the, on the results later on the end of the video. So, Poliwrath and Politoed. We've prepared a table that compares normal and shiny forms for the entire Pokemon family line. So as you guys can see here, this is the Poliwag line. And this is what they're going to look like in Pokemon Go. As you guys can see, you can see the regular Pokemon. As I'll show you guys, I'm going to zoom in real quick. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So you guys can see what these two, the first one and the second one look like, a little bit different. They made it a lot harder in the Let's Go game, because I've seen people try to catch Shiny Poliwag, and it's a way different color, you can barely, barely even see it. So, yeah. So I'm glad we're, we're finally getting new releases of Shiny Pokemon in the wild. So, I'm, I've been waiting on this Pokemon. I've been waiting on Shiny Poliwag for quite a while. And we've been waiting on most of the other shines to be released. So, this is what Polyrath and Polytoe will look like, and you can tell by the color. As you can see, we have the regular form in the game, which is the blue version. Then we have the regular Polytoe as the green and yellow version. Now we're getting Shiny Polyrath for the event. I cannot wait. So we're going to be catching a lot, and if we catch a lot of shinies, it'd be like it'd be like the horse. Okay. So on Chicago Go Fest event, you guys, I caught a bunch of horsey, shiny horsies, and I did not really give y'all the results, but I will give that out on this slide uh, at the end of the uh, end of this video. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna continue our deal. I'm gonna zoom back out so we can start our deal. Okay. Okay, we're gonna go down. It says here, shiny pull wag releases. Their date is tied to the start of Pokemon Go Fest Go Yokohama 2019, which takes place from August 6, 12, 2019. Go Fest Yokohama 2019 takes place in three parts of Yokohama, Japan, Kangawa Prefecture, something like that. And it's at the Yamaha Shirita Park, I don't know how it, Rinko Park, Erikinjenga Park. The release was previously hinted by Polywax appearance on the official Yokohama 2019 key art poster image next to the pool under Simulance. I'm gonna put this game over here. You guys can see me a little bit better. Similar to Pokemon Go Fest and Pokemon Go 
Fest, Dormant and Twelve. Well, let me try and let me say it again. Similar to Pokemon Go Fest and similar to Pokemon Go Fest, Chicago and Dortmund. Which I had to say that both did correctly. I had to say it at the same time, at the same point. So the Yokohama version will be available. A new set of special research, unique challenges for on-site visitors that will influence the global game and special photo ops. There, will be, there won't be any special raids as clarified in the official Japanese blog post. Participation is free, but it will be a pre-application lottery system. Ninety accepting applications for participating from Wednesday 19th from 8 a.m. to Friday June 28th. Which I didn't get one, so everybody else did it. For the ones that got it, congratulations to you guys. I want to credit all of you guys that got it. And I'll talk about something in a minute. There's three things I'm going to talk about. So Niantic will notify winners if they were drawn through the lottery system, which I was notified about the Chicago Dortmund, which I got in. I got the shiny uh, Nidoran on my second account, which was fantastic. And even though I wasn't in the GoFest uh, Chicago, I still got the horsey, which was fascinating, in the park of Chicago. So I was literally all over that park that day. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next clip. Peace. Alright guys, we're back. As you guys can see the screen, they are showing all the hats of... Pikachu is what I was going to talk about a minute ago. So Pokemon Go tweeted out to just about 37 minutes ago. It said, surprise trainers. Let me go in the, in the big view of it so you guys can see. That is what that's going to be happening. Let me get all this out of my way real, real quick. Come on. My computer is freezing up. Okay, give me a second. Let me get to the tweet. Okay, so it's here. Surprise trainers, we have invited some familiar guests to Yokohama for our last Pokemon Go Fest this year. From 6, August 6th at 10 a.m. JST to August 12th at 5 p.m. JST. Pikachu will be appearing globally wearing a different hat each day. So every day, Pikachu will be wearing a different hat different days. So which means... Be wearing a detective hat, the Santa hat, the flower hat, the straw hat, the party hat, the Asha and the Halloween hat that we haven't had in a while, but we're going to get it back this year. So, as of all that, Pikachu will be appearing globally with this, all the hats that we've had, all the stuff that's had on its head, and its single version will be a globally appearing in the wild each day. And it also, it would be in the Yokohama, Japan's Go Fest too, like that. So it will be in their Go Fest too, so even though they're globally in it, it's going to be in, in the Go Fest too. For some of them that got the tickets and are able to get in without having to worry about going to a park, they are able to get these hats and st the flower hat as we missed out on. So we get a chance of getting Shiny Pikachu with the flower hat, finally. We're going to try and get all the six hats. Or no, I'm, I'm saying, wait, it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven hats. I'm, I'm wrong about that. So all seven hats. I was one behind. So we're going to try and get all seven hats shiny so that we you guys can see to what we're going to be getting. I hope we, that we get the shiny. So, Anyways, we got the regular shiny. Uh, I'm going to get to the next clip, you guys, and I'll see you guys there. Peace. Okay, you guys, we're we're back. So uh, I want to explain something before we end up hitting the next clip for the shiny horsey results. So what I'm going to do is uh, tell you guys what, what was going on. Uh, I'm back in Tulsa, so uh, my mom has got me another phone. As you guys can see, it's the Moro E5. Um, and it's activated and we're able to live stream unlimited talk and text and data. But Hotspot is the only one that's not unlimited. I'm barely even using it to get in this event. So, um, second thing is, we're going to be getting our Shiny Horse results here in just a second. Then we're going to get Shiny Ralts results in a second. So, I'll see you guys in the next clip for the Shiny Horse results.
Peace. Hey guys, so here is my shiny horsey result. We did manage to get all the horses that we needed. We got six of you bold one to its full form. Also, we the pickup. So we did manage on GoPro Guy to get this shiny. So we got like six. We got one of them evolved, which is pretty good. So I might end up trading this. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, that is it for my shiny horse results. Let's head into for the shiny, shiny vault. This is my shiny thing that is not full form. This is 76 IV. I tried to get 100% IV, but it wasn't able to. So this is a pretty badass one. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah, this was the best event that I had in a while. So, yeah. Anyway, this is a good Let's get into the shiny thing. Well, So we feel like that, I believe 37 volts, there's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 50, hold on. I got this form too. I didn't want to power it up with this one first one. So I don't get. So these two adds up with 38. All together, I ended the event with 38 shiny rocks, you guys. So that is the video for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget that like button. Don't forget that smash that subscribe button. And share my videos. Subscribe, comment, like. Smash all those buttons. And if you want more content of Pokemon Go, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys later. Peace.